Um, uh, for me, lighting is uh, a process of um, making a balance between shadows and, and, and light. So uh, the process that I have is uh, I'm starting with uh, like one key light that makes a nice gradient. And then I start to, to shape the, the, the object, shape the product based on the reflections. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to, to, to find like where the reflections or, uh, you know, or the rim lights are going to, to like bring the, the shape out. And, uh, and I think that's, a, um, you know, quite a simple process. So there is nothing like extreme there, but um, it, it gives like a good result. In general, uh, Blender is very capable uh, of creating um, almost uh, whatever kind of uh, lighting scenarios that you want. You mm -hmm. you can like do everything, but there is one problem, and um, and that's it. That um, whenever you want to like make a little change, you need to go few steps back and and you know and uh, start to 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 do lots of uh, you know additional steps. Yeah. Uh, which you know which um it's fine but when it becomes like a uh, hundred times then it starts to get uh, really against your creativity uh, and, uh, and when that's when a great uh, plugin or a, a software will come to help and um, yeah, let's the you know the whole process becomes just uh, just a few clicks uh, I really like uh, HDR Light Studio because um, in terms of creativity, instead of um, uh, I put my uh, energy to, to create, uh, you know, like uh, new gradients, uh, nodes and, uh, yeah. and create different shaders and everything. Uh, Instead of that, uh, I put my uh, creativity on uh, on finding the, the perfect lighting. Yeah. So, um, one, one other thing is that, uh, you know, it, uh, HDR Light Studio gives you, um, as an artist, because from time to time you, you create your, uh, your image and then you start thinking, okay, what if I, I do something else? And then, mm -hmm. you know, there is a barrier. Something is uh, holding you because you say, okay, what if I go through all these all all of these steps and it's you know but with uh, something like a chair light studio you don't um, uh, need to sacrifice something you just try it and, yeah. and you see if it's good or not there are lots of features that um, i really really uh, enjoy but um, uh, i can mention a few like the first one is this light painting so mm -hmm. uh, as it's very important for me to exactly place my my reflections on uh, on on the product that I'm working with. So um, Light Studio has this amazing feature that you can just click and drag on the point that you you like your your reflection to appear, and uh, and you can you can see that. Um, except on that, uh, there is uh, this fascinating um, uh, uh, curves that you can work with and you can you can uh, control everything because I, I believe curves was the biggest invention of uh, uh, in 3d computer image generation like these curves because they give you absolute control over what what uh, you want to do mm, and uh, in HDR studio uh, you will have these curves for, for transparency, you will have them for value, for color, so yeah. you can, you can uh, use that uh, in, in, your, in your advantage. And the other thing that I really enjoy is that you can immediately solo one light and, um, uh, and, you know, and just concentrate on that one. Because um, the more uh, I get mature in, in what I'm doing, the more I, I urge for uh, control over yeah. what I'm doing. Uh, earlier in my um, career, I was like lots of things based on happenings, but right now control is the absolute things that I, I think that I really want to have, and um, and that is where HDR Light Studio gives me like this soloing each light, and um, and um, I can I can like work work yeah. with that. Um, that is that is uh, something that uh, made me sure that it's a good decision to to use um, HDR lights. Mm -hmm.